The synthetic turf field, the first one in our inventory, uh, was a natural fit here. Uh, and so we're really excited, not only for the park district, but for the people on the north side of town um, that are going to be able to use the amenities. So, I mean, from a planning standpoint, it made perfect sense. Construction began one year ago. And we're proud to be able to open our first synthetic turf field, additional fields for soccer, football, and lacrosse, and courts for tennis, basketball, and volleyball. The district's second uh, cricket pitch is also coming next year. And I point out again that the Naperville Park District is the only park district in the country that has a cricket league. And our cricket league has a waiting list, so this will uh, help to solve that overcrowding. We don't have to go all the way out south to, to the uh, Frontier Park. We can stay right on the north side and enjoy the festivities of this great park that we put together. I want to thank the Park District and the city for working together so well. And so we're going to have to cut the ribbon, make this thing official. But what I want to do is I see a lot of children here. I want you to come up here and be behind me as we run through the, the ribbon, cutting the ribbon. A little bit different than what I usually do with a scissors. <laughs> Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a familiar face in the studio with us today. It's Ray McGurry from the Naperville Park District. Welcome, Ray. It has been an exciting time for the Naperville Park District this, this year in particular. A couple big projects open to the public now that we can all enjoy. Tell well, me a little bit about it. Well, first of all, thank you for having me back again. Oh, not I appreciate a problem. that. You, you know, the projects this year have been phenomenal. Um, it's been a lot of hard work by our staff. Uh, you know, certainly a lot of publicity in the community about Centennial Beach. Mm -hmm about Nike Park and uh, <clears throat> last week we just finished up um, our CAPRA accreditation process which if we uh, succeed which I think we we did very well will be the only the second park district in the state of Illinois to be nationally accredited and so it's been a very 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 aggressive year and I, I told staff in January I said strap in I said I know this is gonna test our patience and our will but at the end of the year I think uh, it certainly is gonna benefit the community uh, and I think the fruits of our labor, as you see with Centennial Beach, uh, having phenomenal success again this year. And I think, you know, partly due to the weather, mm -hmm. although we had a, a pretty rainy June. Uh, July has made up for it. Yeah, and what's interesting about uh, and something I've learned now in Park and Recs is that when it's like 95, 96, people think everybody flocks to the beach, and they don't. I mean, we still have great numbers, mm -hmm. but a lot of people are like, no, I'm not going out in that. I'm not going to sit in that. But we, we really did some nice upgrades to attract some people there. and. And we, we, I think Centennial Beach has separated itself from the other water parks in the area, which are all phenomenal. I, I don't, I want, you know, to let that people know that you should try all of them. Mm -hmm. um, but I think ours are the best. Uh, you know, in Centennial Beach, we're unique. Uh, we have some unique features there with the new grill that we just opened, the you know, Centennial Grill, uh, full service now uh, with, you know, sandwiches and things of that nature, upgraded the bathhouse, but still, you know, maintain that historic look. Uh, which was very important, as you know. Um, you've been in the community a long time. This community... We like our history. And, you know, you talk about volunteerism, but you also talk about input and, and, and you know, opinions, mm -hmm. you know, strong opinions. And so it took us well over 18 months to gain a consensus amongst the focus groups that we held and that, and we, loud and clear what came through, because we had people say, put in, you know, we want to do um, water skiing. They wanted like a water well, skiing they, machine. They used to water ski <laughs> I, way back in the day. I understand that. So yeah. they wanted that, but we we're like, yeah, it's not going to work. Yeah, no, it's a little small. But the one thing that came out crystal clear was maintain that historic look. The limestone, you know, on the outside, um, 
change the, 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 the uh, ingress and egress of coming in because if you remember, when you used to pull in, you would dump people off on the passenger side or into, into traffic. Okay. It was just not a really good setup. And so now that has all gotten so much better. And so we've, we're very proud of that and I'm very proud of my staff and the, certainly of the board of you know, the commissioners. Um, it's a great partnership that we have with the community. So that, that's phenomenal. That's it, really it turned out It looks beautiful well. and it's been a perfect summer to test that all out with oh, yeah. the, the, the heat and getting everybody out there. Nike Park, you're, you're kind of you know, treading in new territory, breaking in a new tradition with the artificial turf. Correct. Um, tell me about that and, and why you made that decision. Well, uh, you know, from a maintenance standpoint, uh, that field will give us at least 10 to 15 years before we have to replace it. Wow. And it will save us an extensive amount of money. Um, I'd like to say it's cost neutral, it'll be close mm -hmm. based on the money we're going to save from maintenance. Uh, basically, it's a raking machine that just goes out there and that's it. There's no fertilizing. Obviously, there's no watering. Um, it, it, and, and the other thing that's nice, not only for the park district and the taxpayers, but for people that are going to use it. If we, you know, you have these torrential rains, literally we can play on that. I mean, we could not, I don't know if anybody would want to, right. but I mean, you know, some of the fields we have to shut down, um, like you'll, you'll see some of the fields will rest for a season. You just have to. And if you think about it, you know, you, you and I were talking about my lawn, uh -huh. and our lawns basically yeah. at the beginning and in the, the heat and that. Imagine, you know, thousands, not hundreds, thousands of feet every day on, I mean, just up and down on that thing, you have to rest those. Well, here, the synthetic turf, it doesn't have to be rested. You can continue to use that. We can put multiple teams on. You could have a soccer team on one end, you could have a football team on the other end, you could have lacrosse in the middle. It's big enough to hold practices. Now, games, no. I mean, they're going to need, you know, the whole field. And, and the other important component of Nike was the north side. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been in Naperville a long time, uh, got here in 84, and there was always this, well, it's north of 75th and south of 75th. Now, I think 75th may have moved a little bit based yeah. on the size of the city. Yeah. But a lot of people, you know, didn't want to go to a certain side of the neighborhood because it was just too long to drive. Right. And quite honestly, I think the people on the north end got shortchanged for years without having a, a full multi-use comp sports complex. Well, now they have one. And so moms and dads don't have to drive to commissioners on the south end of Naperville. Right, well, and depending on your traffic time, that can be a half hour trip. Oh, easy. Yeah. Easy. Um, so, you know, I think that was very important there. And also the proximity to I-88, uh, we will attract some, some affiliates, some outside. You know, of course, we're going to take care of the people in Naperville first, but those are alternative revenue sources for us. Sure. That we can, you know, attract some teams from, from other areas here that want to come and play in the synthetic turf under the lights. It, it's a phenomenal field with the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. um, it so it's a mini, mini stadium. So we're, we're we're, we're pretty pleased with that. Yeah, oh, you should be. It looks great. Now, you had mentioned that you're, you have had some visitors in and you're trying to become nationally accredited as yes. a park district. Why is it important? Why do we want that? You know, um, I, I'm still learning the park and recs field, uh, but the one thing I've learned, and I'm not an expert on leadership, and certainly I've made my mistakes as, as, as a leader in the Naperville Police Department, at Bolingbrook as the, the police chief, and I'm sure I've made a sheriff. I probably made him driving here today. Um, but the one thing I've learned is that you cannot be so, um, I, want, I want to say egotistical. You, you should not have your doors closed. You should let people come in and take a look and give you advice because sometimes that's the best advice you're going to get because you're so close to the action. Mm -hmm. You as a leader sometimes think you know everything. So that was one reason. I wanted somebody from the outside that's a nationally accredited uh, organization to come in and say, boy, you're doing great on these things yeah, you could probably do a little bit better here, and where's this policy that you really should have? Because, God forbid, if you get sued and you don't have that, that could be a problem. Um, the other thing was is that as you look throughout Naperville, look who's accredited. Naper Settlement, the library, the chamber, multiple facets of the city, police, fire, public works. I mean, I'm sure I've missed some. And I think we're the next piece to that puzzle, mm -hmm. and I think we want to join that club. And, and so uh, the assessors were in last week. Um, of the 144 standards, we are told we passed 143, and we are appealing the other one because, of course, we just can't, you know, right. do it out per perfection here. But um, we have two weeks to appeal the other one, so we're going to go down to Atlanta, Georgia, in November and find out. We have to go through a hearing and that. Uh, but I, I like our chances, and so I think we will we will receive the accreditation, and we will be the only the second park district in the entire state of Illinois to ever receive this. So that's. That's uh, something to be said for the Naperville Park District, and again for my staff and for the board. Um, Dirk Price, our attorney, who has done a phenomenal job with our policies and procedures. It's, um, it's, it's, a, it's a great process. We've learned a lot about ourselves, which is important. 
Now you've been at the job for about three years now. Yep. What's, what have you What have you found to be some of your one of your favorite parts of the job? Um, just being back out in the community, um, walking out on a soccer field and talking to the parents and the kids, going to the different functions, coming to speak to you here at, at NCTV. Um, I like to say I'm the face. I'm not sure that I'm the best face for the park district, but I'm the front person that goes out there and, and just touts the successes and thanks people for, for everything that they've done for us. I mean, we just held a, um, a volunteerism picnic uh, on Monday. We served 1,100 people. Wow. Uh, yeah, I mean, hamburgers and hot dogs, and we made them ourselves. Um, so that tells you the type of partnerships we have with this community. This, is, this community is like none other. I mean, you, that, you see those bylines mm -hmm. in the paper here. Um, for people that don't live it like you and I have, mm -hmm we get it because it's unbelievable I mean when I ask for a volunteer I get 20 you know already wanting to help and so that's been the best part um, certainly some of the programs we've done some of the infrastructure the capital improvements and some of the things that to come in the future it's exciting times here you know it for the is city. exciting time well Ray thanks for stopping by and oh, talking to thank me thank you for having me any any time you really want really enjoy our partnership with with Naperville Park District it's been great so we can't thank you enough, and we're going to be right back with more Business Connection in a moment. Stay tuned.